anything like me, I'm sure you are itching to go camping. But if you're in a state like mine, there are a lot of restrictions in place right now. Uh, some of our national forests are completely closed and campfires and open flames of all kinds are strictly prohibited. That got me looking for an alternative to cooking food without fire. So stick around and find out more. be completely honest with you, I'm having a hard time. It's been a difficult year for all of us, especially those of us who depend on getting out in nature as part of taking care of our mental health. If you've been watching this channel, then you probably already know that I live in Southern California, which is one of the many states that are dealing with devastating wildfires. As a necessary precaution, the National Forest Service has closed all of our forests. All camping and recreation in the woods is prohibited for the time being. And it makes sense because we want to keep all our emergency resources readily available to support those existing emergencies. Now, before I continue, if you're new here, I'm Jess and this is Sound Mind Adventures. And this is where I share my adventures with you with an emphasis on how meaningful experiences in the outdoors help us to improve and maintain our emotional and mental well being. In addition, I explore technical and mindset aspects of the adventure lifestyle. Now, if you think you might find value in this sort of content, please consider subscribing. Also drop a comment in the section below, like this video. This tells YouTube to share this video with more people and you also help me grow this channel. And for that, I thank you. Even though our forests are closed for the time being, camping in the desert on public lands is still allowed. But due to the extreme fire danger, California and many other states have implemented strict rules that prohibit the use of campfires and all open flames. This includes the use of those small camp stoves such as the jet boil and the pocket rocket that many of us depend on when we are out adventuring in the wild. Now, because I don't know how long these restrictions are going to be in place, I started looking for other options to cook while I'm out camping. And one of the joys of camping for me is the ability to cook a warm meal and make some hot coffee or hot chocolate in the morning. Now, when I was in the military, we ate MREs that came with this flameless heater that was activated by water. You simply put your food pouch inside the heating element and you just waited a few minutes until your food was nice and warm. This happened through a process called oxidation reduction, where basically it means that like magnesium metal in the heat pack is oxidized by the water. So this chemical reaction was what heated up your food. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just buy some MRE heaters. But then I found another option that I really think is going to work better. I found a product from a company called Barrow Cook. This product uses an eco-friendly heating element that's made of natural minerals, calcium hydroxide and sodium bicarbonate. It works in the same way as the MRE heater and that it is activated by water or snow if necessary. Barrow Cook claims that their product can be used to heat food and liquids up to 203 degrees. This I think is going to work great for heating up soups and water for those dehydrated backpacking meals. You could also heat up water for your camping coffee or your tea. Barrow Cook also claims that this cookware will keep your food warm for up to an hour. It comes with this neoprene sleeve, not only to give you some grip when you're handling it, but also to protect your hands uh, from getting burned. I'm not sure how hot this gets, but we will give it a test and see. Keep in mind, as I already stated, the water is not going to reach a boiling point. So I don't think it would be wise to put raw meat or try to boil eggs in the Barrow Cook nor would I use it for sterilization purposes. So make sure that you are putting clean water in the Barrow Cook before you start cooking. Now I purchased this 28 ounce Barrow Cook flameless cookware on Amazon and for the purposes of this video, we'll use it for the first time. And we will all see just how well it works. 
I also purchased a 10 pack of 50 gram heat packs that are sold separately because the Barrow Cook stove only came with one heat pack. For this demonstration, I have a Nor pasta meal that requires just water to cook. These Nor meals are popular with campers of all kinds, motorcycle campers, backpackers. Um, they're small, they're lightweight, and they're relatively inexpensive as compared to the dehydrated backpacker meals like you see here. Now I must warn you that Barrow Cook states that unopened heat packs have a shelf life of three years and unused packs are not to be thrown away in the trash in the event that they accidentally come in contact with water and are activated. Now only throw away used heat packs even if they are expired. Another important thing to note is that Barrow Cook warns not to drink the water that is directly in contact with the heat pack. But they also state that the vapor that's released is completely safe and eco-friendly. The only water that you should consume is the water that is in the metal cooking pan. And just a friendly reminder to pack out all your trash in accordance with leave no trace principles. It is important that we keep our natural areas clean in order to protect wildlife and just make it more enjoyable for all of us. I'll leave a link for Leave No Trace in the description below. Check it out if you're not familiar with the Leave No Trace initiative and how to responsibly enjoy the outdoors. So I hope you found some value in this video. And just a reminder, if you did, punch that like button and let me know what you think of this flameless cooking option. And if you've used this, if you haven't done so already, check out my last video right there. I went on a four day backpacking trip in the Eastern Sierra. It was my very first backpacking trip and I tell you it was an amazing experience. I was really excited about sharing that adventure with everybody and it took me quite a while to put that video together. So I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and check that out and let me know what you think. With that, I'm gonna see you in the next video.